All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Simpsons 3.8 rule to uh, numerically integrate a function. And so it's fairly simple where we just have to follow this formula here. And we're going to have to integrate this function here. And um, I advise you to make these three columns first before we start our calculations to make it easier so you can follow me. But here, we start with the x column. And x is basically the boundaries of the function here we have to integrate from 0 to 3 so theoretically our function our boundaries are 0 to 3 but pay attention to the formula here so in this simpsons 3 8 formula there are four points there's f x evaluated at x 0 f evaluated at x 1 f evaluated at x 2 and f evaluated at x 3 so it means we're evaluating this function here at four different points so it means that although our upper and lower bound, our lower bound is 0 and our upper bound is 3, we have to evaluate this at two other points because there's a total of four points, right? So simply, you can just evaluate it at 0, 1, 2, 3. But we end at 3 and we start at 0, so it's still this. And now we just have to evaluate the function at the given x value. So this is fairly simple, where it's just 5 plus 3 times cos replacing the x here with our x value here. Then just uh, drag this down here. And because it's the same formula, right? So it's just replacing the x with this and so on and so forth, right? The x with this. And afterwards, now we can input the formula because we have the four points evaluated. So let's do that. So b here represents our upper boundary, which is 3. So it's 3 minus a, which is our lower bound, 0 here times f evaluated at x0, which is this, plus 3 times f evaluated at fx1, which is this, plus 3 times f evaluated at x2, which is this, our third point, basically. And lastly, f evaluated at fx3, which is our fourth and final point, this. And then we divide this by 8. And there it is. You get the answer for the uh, integral. And if you check it here with the analytical answer, it's fairly close where it's at 15.4 something. Here we have 15.43 and this is 15.42 the analytical uh, result, but it's not exactly the same. So what you can do to make the Simpsons 3.8 rule more accurate is that instead of just evaluating from 0 to 3 right away, we evaluate at smaller intervals. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's just delete, uh, let's just um, unhighlight that. And so instead of 0, 1, 2, 3, we evaluate at this. So 0 equals to this plus 0 0.2. And then we drag this down until it reaches 3. So one more there. And basically here, we're evaluating this function at smaller um, segments. And like as a numerical method, if we evaluate it at smaller segments, it makes the results basically more accurate. So we just uh, do this here, the same thing. Just drag this down. And we get um, the function evaluated at these different points, right? from here to here. But of course, we end, uh, we start at zero, and we still end at three. And then afterwards, uh, in this case, look, we've evaluated the integral from zero to 0 0.6. So if you remember from the formula, we evaluate every four points, right? So once we've done zero to 0 0.6, we then move on to 0 0.6, uh, uh, up to 1.2, right? One, two, three, four, and then so on and so forth. So after that, we go from 1.2, where we stop, to the other uh, next four points. 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, next four points. And then go again from here, next four points. And lastly, our final four points. Now, the thing is in Excel, you cannot um, immediately uh, drag this thing down. And here, this is an important step. What you want to do is you want to merge this first. Merge the three, uh, these three rows, like this. And then you drag it. Um, and here, if you want to check it out, you're right. This is the function from 0 to 0 0.6. So we're evaluating this function from um, the lower bound 0 to 0 0.6. And then here, 
it's integrating from 0 0.6 to 1.2, 1.2 to 1.8, uh, 1.8 to 2.4, and lastly 2.4 to 3. So we still end at 3, and we're still evaluating at evaluating this function at four different points, as um, stated in the formula. Now, because we're integrating at these smaller segments, uh, we can just have to sum the total of the integration because at the end of the day, um, this is basically the sum. If we sum this up, it's basically the integral from zero to three, but it's just uh, separated into smaller uh, segments. So if we do this, there. 15.42336. What's the analytical answer? 15.42336. So it's basically the same thing. As I mentioned previously, one of the most important steps you have to do is merge these cells, right? The three rows together. And that uh, and there's a reason why. So let's say we didn't merge these cells and we allowed XL to just um, let's just drag this down entirely. Now the first uh cell will be correct, right? We're integrating from 0 to 0 0.6, our first four points. So logically, the next step should be integrating from 0 0.6 to 1.2, our next uh, four points. But look at this. X cell integrates from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8, which is unnecessary because we've already integrated from 0 to 0 0.6. So that's why you should not instantly drag this whole thing down. But instead, like I've done before, merge it first, uh, merge the first three rows first, and then just drag this down up to here and also do not drag it down uh, here because look XL is integrating at around at imaginary points so you stop here at this point because we're finished right we've integrated to three our final point so that's where we stop and uh, like before we just get the sum of all these small integrals get the total sum and uh, yeah that's basically your answer so that's it for this Simpson 3.8 video if you have any questions please ask me in the comments below thank you